Hey everyone, it's Dr. Hefes from Scholars Dental. We have some exciting news from the NDEB. There are new seats available for the AFK Feb 2022 exam. Let's explore the details of this announcement together. All right, everybody, welcome back. Let's go through the announcement. Uh, if you go to the website, you'll find the news on uh, the announcement on their news page. Uh, Feb 2022 new seats available. This just came out November 2nd. We're going to make another video for the ACS modifications, but this is more of a priority because there's a deadline. So um, the NDB has, mo has been monitoring the public health stuff. And at the end of the day, they decided that they could, due to recent changes in public health regulations and capacity requirements uh, in Ontario and Quebec, they can now accommodate 600 more seats for the Feb exam so this is really good news for everybody that couldn't get in to the exam so let's take some notes here first of all you have 600 more seats for the afk and it's mainly in ontario and quebec so if you look at the options you get in the survey and we'll talk about that in a, in a bit it's pretty much you have three options you have toronto ottawa and montreal okay so you have the, and then you want, what you could do is you could assign each one a number. So let's say your priority is Toronto. You go one, Ottawa is two, and this three, that means that's your preference in order. If you don't want a preference, then you should just not put a number or assign a number to that specific um, city. And you shouldn't put a number on one of the cities if you can't go there, if you can't travel, right? So pay attention to this because there's no transfers. You can't transfer from one uh, location to another. Okay, let's continue through this announcement. We continue to experience technical issues with our online portal and are actively working to, towards long-term solutions. In the meantime, we have created different registration processes to examinees can express interest in registration. So, technical issues still there. Okay. Now, if you recall from our video that we talked about, the one in the... Uh, that we made about the technical issues in the feb exam i was trying to uh make a point that it's not mainly the technical issues where that, that's the problem the issue is there's not enough seats right we'd rather have enough seats even if there's technical issues you're going to eventually get to register so this this is more seats available awesome this is exactly what we wanted more seats and between creating more exam dates versus opening up more seats. We were thinking that most likely they could open up more seats and this is coming true. So this is good news and something positive for everyone trying to take the AFK. Now they have, they have their way with the ACS on how to overcome the technical issues. Remember we talked about this in another video that in the, in that video that in the ACS, what they're going to do is they're going to allow you to take a survey. So if you want the exam, just submit a form that Yes, I want the exam. They're going to collect these surveys. Okay, we have a thousand people that want to take the exam. And then what they're going to do is they're going to randomly select 600 out of those people. So this way you avoid the registration process yourself. You don't have to go through the technical problems. Uh, you submit a form. They get these forms. They have a pool of people that want to take the exams and they'll select randomly who's going to get into the exam. Some people are calling it like the lottery system kind of, right? So, because it's at random. Okay, so let's continue with the news. Uh, and then examinees interested in registering for the AFK are encouraged to monitor their emails as we'll be posting an update to online profiles. So, you'll be getting an email or something, an update in your profile. When you open the message, when you open the message will not impact your registration priority. The document will contain information about the process and next steps. So that's kind of a relief too. So now you could know that there's no, you know, uh, waiting at the computer. Oh, it's going to hit 12 and I got to do it first before everybody else do it. It's not first come first serve anymore, which could be a relief, right? Less stress, I think. You So it doesn't matter when you open the email, right? When you open... Uh, the update or the message does not impact the priority, right? All right, so that's cool. Now let's see, there's a PDF that's the details about this you'll find in your account. 
All right, so let's go look at that PDF. This is a PDF that you'll find if you are eligible, of course. And I think they mean by eligible here that you just approved by the NDB and you could take the AFK, right? Um, so here is the PDF that you'll find. You'll see there's a little bit more details. Here's a repeated concept. Okay, we already talked about that. When the Feb 2022 registration technical issues are online portal, we know trying to access are stressful. So you can, they understand the stress you've gone through uh, in the technical issues. And their third party provider cannot confirm that the platform is going to be stable with the traffic they're getting. So therefore, they're going to start using the uh, additional AFK. We successfully use the same process for a recent ACS registration. The process outlined below should provide a better. So what is the process? It's the one that we just I told you about. You're going to fill up the survey. OK, so it's going to be fill survey. They're going to collect pool of who wants the exam and then they're going to select select random 600 people okay and then they're going to try to give you a priority if your priority is full they'll give you your second and then your third okay so let's go through this pdf all right the process so any eligible exam who is currently rich for afk can submit their interest to the Okay, so this is called the, like this survey is your interest. The survey contains all locations with seats available. So again, we said they're Toronto, Ottawa, and Montreal. You'll be asked to rank them in order. So which one do you want to go to? Which one's your priority? And where you would be willing to travel? Again, if you cannot go or travel to one of these locations, don't select it because what they're saying later on here in this uh, PDF is that if you don't pay for your seat, no one will be able to get that seat. They can't give it out. This is the, so basically what they're saying, this is the last time they're going to open seats for this exam. That's what I understood from this, right? So please take your time to review the location options and check travel and public health regulations. You could be assigned any location selected in your survey. So make sure the ones you select are uh, the ones you want. Only answer yes to the AFK if you are sure you want to take the exam. If you answer yes and are selected and choose not to pay right the seat then will be remain empty for the exam okay so please guys be thoughtful here don't do it just out of fomo if you think you're not going to take the exam uh just maybe don't and if you're sure you want to then yes say yes but like don't waste the seat for other people others want to get into the uh exam for sure right because so those seat will remain empty for the exam because of the time it takes to register print pack and chip the examination we will not be able to add additional examinees Okay, so just to make this clear, if 600 of you register, get the seat, don't pay, no one goes, no, no, none of these seats will be filled. Okay, um, interest expressed through the survey before the deadline are the only response that will be considered. Transfer requests will not be accommodated. So you can't transfer once you, one of these three locations, if you get that seat, you have to go to that exam. You can't be transferred. If you don't go, it'll be empty. Okay, so before the deadline so what's the deadline you'll see here um it says at the bottom we'll get to that later when the survey deadline has passed all data will be entered into a system okay and the deadline actually let's go highlight it here the deadline is here it says november 5 uh 9 a.m okay so that's just an about if you're watching this video on november 2nd that's in a few days no, all right so november 5 would be friday okay 9 a.m. So pretty much Thursday. Don't look at it as right. You you know, Thursday is the last day, I think. And that way you want to think about it. Okay. So um let's go back here. Okay, once the deadline, once they reach the deadline, uh, they're going to enter the data into their system using the, the NDEB ID numbers. Okay, using the randomly generated order examinees with, with these ID number will be registered in the examination. We'll do our best to accommodate each examinee's first choice. Sure. So they're going to just randomly select out of these pool of applicants. If your choice, first choice is full, you'll get your second. If that's full, you'll get your third, right? Pretty obvious there. So make sure you only select places you're willing to travel. We talked about that. We will not be able to accommodate any transfer request. Once the ID numbers are selected, those who are registered for the exam will be sent an email. Okay, so once they select their random people that are that are going to get the seat, they will send you now an email 
And that email will have the payment and structures, uh, instructions. So only examinees offered seats will get this email follow-up. All right, so the fee for the examination is 800. Once you receive the payment email, you will have 48 hours to pay for the exam fee. After 48 hours, your registration will be removed and the seat will not be able to be filled. Okay, so you have two days to just do it right away if you want to, right? Okay, this is the deadline. For the best experience of just using a laptop computer, we talked about that before. As a reminder, any submissions are final. Please review your selections before you continue. So let's add some notes here to our um, to, to our notes. So we have deadline is November 5. Okay, so that's Friday at 9 a.m. So please do it maximum Thursday if you're going to do this, right? And then once you get the pool of rent of the, once the 600 random are selected, they're going to receive an email for payment and that's 800. Okay. And you have now two days or 48 hours to pay. Okay. So if you do not pay, that seat will not be filled at all. They're not going to do this again. This is what they're saying. So this is our last chance to get more. Uh, people into the exam, right? Kind of look at it like this. Last chance to uh, register for the exam. Okay, now that's what it says here. Okay, so we kind of went through everything, I think. And don't expect any confirmation when you submit the form. So, um, so no, no response to form submit okay so when you submit your survey you're not going to get a confirmation or anything you'll get this email the one that you've been selected and you need to pay afterwards okay but there's nothing that's going to happen as a response right immediately to your um, email to your sub form submission now if you go to this uh, link here the survey link this is something weird i don't know if someone has an explanation to this but you'll see here that so let's zoom in. Okay, so this is where the survey starts. The following is intended for individuals to express their interest in registering for the exam. Rank the locations in order of preference. Space at each location is limited. Only rank the ones you want to travel to. But here it says the survey must be submitted by uh, 9 p.m. November 7, 2021. So that is Sunday, right? So that is Sunday. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if this is an error because I think they say the last time should be Friday at 9 a.m. So that maybe, you know, over the weekend doesn't really count. But realistically, they will receive the submission by Sunday. But please, guys, don't risk it. Why risk it? Do it for sure before Friday. That's what I would say. Just ignore this one. Don't go. Don't max it out. OK, if you need to think about this, take, you know, the maximum a day to think about and just register uh next day okay but before friday okay so anyway if you see this you know it might be an error ignore it use the uh the other date in the pdf just so that you don't risk anything okay don't waste time calling them and trying to check there's no point just register sooner get get the survey done and that's it if you click next here then you could um fill in your info your your name your uh I, I, and the EB number, your email address, and then you say, yes, I want to take the exam next. And then you'll fill up the, uh, the cities you want to do. Okay. That's pretty much it for this. Um, great. Now here's the thing. So some people are, are, again, I, this is something I don't recommend. I always tell people or applicants to start preparing. Even if you're not sure you're going to get in, don't wait to register for the exam, then you know, start preparing because you'll, you're losing time, right? But anyway, what we have done to help students or dentists that are trying to get in now, right? Start preparing now that are late. We have designed a program. Um, this program is, we don't want to call it a crash course because I don't really believe in crash courses as much right now. Uh, the a crash course usually implies that you'll get less content. You'll get less information. And and I think for an exam that's competitive like this, 
you don't want to have less information than the person next to you, right? You want to have the same amount, like you want to have, you want to be able to compete. Um, you know, sometimes a crash course, if you look at the schedules, they're like less than 50% of the time of a regular course, not just time and duration. I mean like actual sessions, right? So, you know, I think it only works if you're reviewing and you've already, you already have a good foundation. You've already took it, taken maybe a full course and then you want to do a crash as a review. Maybe that may work. Um, if you know that we launched a survey for the August AFK exam, we'll make another video about the results for that exam, but for that survey. But we found in the survey that people that take full courses do a lot better than people that take crash or only mocks. This is just something we found in the survey. I'll discuss it in a different video. So anyway, what we have designed, we came up with an idea that is more like a condensed course or a catch-up course, okay? So this catch-up course, if you want to prepare now, um, what we do is usually in our five months course, our full course, you have one module per week and sometimes there are breaks. Um, what you could do in our condensed course, if you're, if you're registering late and you haven't prepared yet, you, you, you could do two modules in one week. So you're getting the same amount of content that the full course gets, but now what you have to, you have to be able to provide the time to study two modules in a week. So it's condensed. Okay. Uh, it's the same amount of content. Just now you have to provide more time. Okay. So. If you are interested in that, you could contact us. We could book a free consult and explain it further to you. And we could see if you qualify, if you're a good candidate for this, because I need to see that you have that time to actually give to do all this work. Um, if you don't, then, you know, I'm not sure what your plan is to try to prepare for the AFK exam in three months without having all that time. Like it's not a good plan. Again, the results of the survey will be discussed in a different video. They're pretty interesting. They, we even found that people that prepare over six months have a higher chance of passing than less than six months. So again, if you have any questions about our uh, condensed catch up program, you want to try to get all the content done in the next three months, you're going to have to do it in two months plus the last month with reviewing and mocks, uh, contact us, book a free consult, and we could have a, a talk about that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, and I'm just going to review with you all the the notes here you could pretty much uh, stop watching if you're done but i'm just going to review what we have left notes uh again they have 600 seats opening uh, uh in ontario and quebec toronto ottawa and montreal uh the tech issues have not been fixed so they're going to do an acs style way where they collect the surveys um you're going to submit the survey that you want to take your exam you're going to put your priorities in these cities which one you want to go to first, only put the ones you want to actually go to or you can go to. Once they have the pool of all these submissions, all these forms, they're going to select randomly 600 people and they will, these 600 will receive the email that telling them they got to see, pay for it. You have 48 hours to pay. If you don't pay, then no one will go to that seat. If you do, you get the seat. Um, the deadline for this form to submit the form is November 5 on Friday. Ignore the other one. Do it before Friday. Okay. Uh, this is the, I think this is going to be the last uh, chance for us to register for the AFK 2022 exam. Um, and, you know, when you submit the form, just don't expect there's an error. You might not get a response or to the sub form submission. That's it, everybody. Thank you for watching and good luck. And again, book the consult. If you're thinking, if you haven't done anything in your preparation and you're thinking to take the FEB exam, please book our free consult so that we could. Uh, realistically discuss your situation and discuss with you if you could actually do the condensed program. All right. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.